hello there and welcome back to my channel. So today we have an old classic, an AliExpress haul, or some may call it an AliExpress party because that's how it feels right now. I have a couple of announcements to make. The first one being that this is probably going to be one of the last times that you will see me film in this room with this background because we're having a little bit of a shift around in the house. It's a really long and boring story that I'm really not going to bore you with today. I know I probably do bore you, you know, with other long and boring stories, but I'm not going to tell you today because it's just not that very much interesting, honestly. I'm going to be moving into the smaller of our bedrooms. Some may call it a, a box room. I call it my beauty room I mean really guys but I'm going to be moving in there I'm busy painting it and getting it all ready glamorous just looking amazing for filming I just feel like I've missed my calling in life to be a painter I I mean such a painting mood it's unbelievable I just feel like I've got this momentum going at the moment like I look at something and I think I want to paint it can I put paint on that if so let me get my paintbrush out like I'm masking taping everything up even though masking taping is the most tedious part of painting the other day it took me about 10 minutes to I was painting you know the panels on a door and it took me about five million hours to mask up around the panel and then just like two seconds to paint but yeah anyway apart from masking i i could get an assistant maybe like a masking tape assistant and they could be like my my masking i could just say look just mask masking tape up the whole house for me and then i just come in with my paintbrush honestly if i see something I think let's paint it. That's just my whole thing at the moment, so I've been really busy doing that. That's very exciting, but that's not what we're here to talk about today. My hair is defying the laws of graffiti right now. Somebody call Albert Einstein up in here, let him know he needs to go back into the classroom and do some more equations because gravity has nothing on my hair. Anyway, we're going to begin with the first item. By the way, as well, yes, my stool is squeaking, and yes, I tri <coughs> oh gosh, I was. Do you know this happened to me yesterday? I was talking to a colleague at work, and I was just blah blah blah, and then I went, <coughs> <coughs> and she was like, "Oh my gosh, are you okay?" And I was like, "Oh, I was just choking on my own spit. Like I was talking so much, I forgot how to swallow." But that's just that's me that's how i roll so anyway guys um let's begin so with the first item let's do it oh my gosh actually i've got to tell you because i know this is an elephant in the room um yes this in my hair and i know you're thinking what the feck is it i know probably since the beginning of the video you've been staring at it thinking does anyone even know it's there like what is it um but this is essentially like it's like a little hoop um, and it's got a little like silver feather on it. And these are like the new up and coming trend, I feel. Um, they're meant to be used for uh, like, you know, if you've got like say French plaits in, you can use these hooks to like hook through the hair and you're essentially kind of, you're customizing your hair. You're just adding a certain extra flair. Like part of me thinks, oh my gosh, like that would take so much effort. I mean, I get RSI in my hands when I try and attempt a French plait. So I can't imagine like actually dressing the French plait. But I've taken a, a kind of lazy girl approach and I've just kind of, I don't know, I've hooked it into my hair. But I like it. I mean, I like it. I've also, like, I bought a bunch of these. Um, but I can't seem to find. Oh, here they are. Okay, so guys, I bought a bunch of these. Um, there's loads and loads of them on AliExpress. You can get loads of different styles. You can just get like the silver hoop or you could get a silver hoop with an adornment on. You could probably even get a silver hoop with a giant cock on if that's what you, you know, really, really wanted in your French plait. I've got one here which has like a silver silver oh, by the way yes that's paint on my fingernails because i'm fecking addicted to painting if i didn't mention it before but you know what it came in so handy because i went to be in q earlier to get some more paint of course because apparently i am going through paint at a rate of knots like literally i i'm going through more paint than charlie sheen is has well 
it is probably still going through cocaine so there's a lot of paint being used but i went to get some gray paint to go with pink paint i forgot to bring like a swatch or a picture of the pink paint so i was thinking holy shit like i meant to be like a paint expert up in here and i forget to even bring a sample of the paint that I need to match the new paint to but it was fine because I had paint on my fingernails so I just kind of matched the new paint to the paint on my fingernails and I felt like such a genius in that moment like I just thought to myself do you know what faced with an obstacle I can I can get over anything like just throw me some kind of challenge and I will I will find find a way to solve it like literally guys but anyway so yeah you can get like a multitude of different hoops i don't necessarily think these these are necessary and i don't think they're for every day but it's kind of like you know like you would pierce your ears like you're piercing your hair it's just like really fancy extra as fuck and i love it i'm just living right now i also um think that these hoops have a whole like range of uses as well because you can oh this is what i did anyway and it probably looks terrible to the untrained eye do you ever think to yourself right I have such good taste. Like, I think that all the time. I'm like, oh my gosh, I have such good taste. Why am I not a fashion designer? But then I think about it and I think, well, do you know what? I probably don't really have that great taste. But then, it, then again, taste is subjective. So, like, to me, of course, I have great taste. But to someone else, I have shit taste. Probably to a lot of people, I have shit taste. But anyway, guys, I hooked... A couple of these on my, um, I've got these like Calvin Klein boots. They look kind of like Converse boots if you had Converse boots that had a thick platform on. So they don't look anything like Converse boots. But anyway, I hooked the hooks over the laces and it looks so cool. Like so rock and roll. I, I was just feeling like my very best self. It was amazing. Um, but anyway, yeah, these are great. I love them. Like I don't know how often I'll actually be putting them in my hair because honestly it's a bit of a faff and like I don't know I, I love it but, I, but I've not I, like I've never seen anyone else wear these in their hair all the more reason for me to wear them because I like I think they're great anyway like tell me what you think in the comments like is it a A? is it an a hmm we just don't know okay so next I I don't know again like I've I've become addicted to lanyards. I've just become addicted. Like, I needed a new lanyard for work and I just realised, oh my gosh, there is a whole world of lanyards out there that I've not tapped into yet. So from that moment, I just, I couldn't stop buying lanyards. So I bought a lanyard for my phone um, but then I realised, oh holy shit, like, how do I actually install this into my phone? I didn't know. So then again, as I said before, throw me an obstacle and I will overcome it. So I very cleverly, if I don't say so myself, um, just thought, holy shit, I am just going to hook this like over my pop socket. And oh my gosh, Bob's your uncle, obstacle is over gained, overturned. I, I fecking sorted it out, okay? Like I did. Look, I can carry my phone. Like, you know what? I think it was in my previous haul. I bought a phone case with a lanyard on and it didn't work for me because I, like, I don't know. I, I love my pop sockets too much and I couldn't fit my pop sockets onto the new case. It was a very tragic situation, honestly. But I'm over it now. Like, I'm, I've got over it. It took a while. Medication was needed. Therapy. But, like, I've come out the other side now. It was a dark time. So now, like, I've, I can just put this over my wrist and I can just carry it everywhere. And in the evening time when I get my plates of snacks, yes, plates, not just plate. That's not enough for me. I need at least two plates of snacks in the evening i can carry my plates and my phone at the same time <gasps> i mean how how great is this it's like a whole new world of opportunities heck i could even get three plates i could get three plates and my phone my beast could just go down my bra and i'd be so happy but anyway this is great it's a fake moschino moschino no idea but i love it i think it's so pretty and i also got a longer one uh, for my keys I don't know if Honey's is loving it or not because uh, we share a car and I don't think I don't know he's not said anything but I, I just feel like if it were up to him he probably would not have a big lanyard on the keys I believe us women uh, exist to show men what's good like what's good in the world uh, so anyway guys here we go oh yes I'm loving loving the fecking lanyard
Oh, guys. Oh, okay, I don't know if this even counts as being a lanyard, but um, I think it fits into the category. I've not even opened this yet because I, I kind of wanted to save it to show you in the haul. Like, I do that a lot. I just, I don't know. I just like to keep things nice and fresh and new, you know, before I show you because... I don't know, I find that if I have something for a while and use it, it becomes like, it just looks skanky within a week. So anyway, so this is the other thing I got and I've not even decided a use for this yet. Like, do you ever do that where, you know, you'll go shopping and you'll, you'll buy like tubs, boxes, like just kind of inanimate objects that you don't need, you don't have the space for and you don't have a use for, but you buy it anyway because you think, hmm, I'll find something to put in that, even though you you don't need something else to put shit in, but you will find shit, you know, you'll take it home and you will find shit to put in it, but why? I don't know, I do it all the time, but anyway, this is definitely one of those examples. I'm sure that at some point I'm going to find a use for this, Um, like definitely, but maybe I'll put like my work keys on this like probably that sounds like a good idea um but anyway it's really really cute like guys lanyards are the way forward if you want to easily like carry things around your keys your phone your dildos i just get yourself lanyards and it's so easy so yeah i fucking love that it's so pretty okay so next i got um some makeup items and i have already tested these out that doesn't happen a lot usually i film a haul and then i test them out but i just kind of jumped the gun like i was just dying to try these out so i'm just going to show you these now um i don't know which video will go up first so um yeah i think this video will probably go up first so I will, do, oh my gosh, you don't care. Like, do, I always find that, you know, say if I'm talking to someone and they start going on, like the worst thing is, this is like my pet hate. If I'm ever talking to you, do not do this. Like, I'll look interested, but I am hating you. So it's when you're talking to someone and they say, oh my gosh, have you ever been to that great furniture shop? And you're like, oh no, I don't think I've ever been there. Where is it? And they say, oh, it's just up in Stockport Town Centre. And I'll be like, all right, okay, great. Yeah, I'll, I'll check it out sometime. You're never checking out that shop. But then they start becoming like some kind of like, I don't know, it's almost like their life mission is to make sure that you know exactly where the fecking shop is, even though you can just Google it. So they'll be like, okay, well, do you know where the old post office is? up the hill and then you're saying well I don't really know Stockport Town Centre that long and they're like okay 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 do you know where the roundabout is with the big red building and the tulips out front the drunk guy who sits down on the steps with with his bottle of cider um the dog that walks up and down do you know it and you're thinking no I don't know it and then eventually because you're, you just want them to stop talking at you you say oh yeah yeah I know where that is I know I know exactly where you mean now yes and you're thinking, what the fuck? Like, it's really kind of you to try and make sure that I know exactly where this place is. But this is what fucking Google's is for. Like, this is what Google is for. I've I've got the maps app. I can find anywhere. But thank you so much for wasting two minutes of my life. Like, really? Anyway, guys. So, I got uh, these two items. So, the first one is by Kamaju. Will Kamaju. And how are you today? Oh, Camera Jew's doing great. That's wonderful. So this is a Huda Beauty dupe. So Huda Beauty brought out those super like metallic. They almost look like very like opaquely glittery lipsticks. They look sensational. So this is Camera Jew's take on those. This is a beautiful kind of purple shade. I don't know if I'm going to tell you what I thought of this because like that would completely invalidate my whole video where I tested it out so I'm going to leave you in suspenders for now but yeah I got this and you will definitely see me testing it out very soon maybe in my new beauty room which will be like really exciting sorry that video will not be filmed in my new beauty room because this paint addict over here has become too obsessed and I keep painting new things and I, I sit here with my mirror on the floor um, I've been painting the frame with a glitter paint that I actually added a shitload of extra glitter to because it simply was not glittery enough for this glitter addict. So um, yeah, the beauty room, it was not finished. So I, I tested that makeup. I don't know why I even said maybe you could 
maybe I'll be filming that in my new beauty room because I've already filmed it. What the feck I'm wearing? Are the paint fumes getting to your head? Like, I think they are. I think you need to put down the paintbrush. Oh my gosh, how bizarre am I right now? I am talking to myself. I, I'm what? I don't know, guys. Please take care when painting. But anyway, guys, I'm in my new beauty room. I know you're watching an AliExpress haul, but I'm here, sat on my chair, actually editing the video you're watching. How, like, surreal is that? Like, you're watching that video that I'm editing, but I've not finished it yet, but you're seeing me. Is that weird, or have I just had a really long day and been up too, too late at night painting? Probably, like, but anyway, guys, I'm gonna let you go on with the rest of the video. This is the beauty room, so this is, like, the background you'll be seeing. Again, you're thinking, I'm when we don't care. Like, we do not give a shit, really, but, oh my gosh, guys, like, look. Ta -ta -ta. Yeah, and I know that this whole new beauty room thing, like to me, it's the most amazing thing ever. And I do appreciate that, like, I don't know, it's kind of like, you know, when someone gets married and that's like the best day of their life. But to you, you're thinking, mm, okay, I'm just here for the free drinks and the canopies. But um, anyway, guys, I'm, I'm going to go. Let Enjoy the rest of the video, guys. And yeah, my hair looks crazy. Like I'm looking at it now and I'm thinking, holy shit. Like, do I not care about my parents? Like, look at my hair. It's sticking up. Oh my gosh, guys. I, I hope it's not too distracting. I've got all of these like outrageous ideas in my head as to like what I want in the beauty room. Like I want LED lights, fairy lights, neon lights. I just want to have like glitter, like lots of glitter. I just want everything in there. And the room is tiny. I don't know how I'll even fit in there, honestly. But it will find some we'll find a solution because again. Throw me an obstacle and I will defeat it. So the second makeup product I got is by Miss Rose. This is a liquid illuminator. It is called the Liquid Glow Face Highlighter. And this is in the shade Sun Glow. So yeah, I've already tried those both out. I'm doing my best poker face here. So you don't know if they're good or not, let me know in the comments downstairs. Do you think those products are great or terrible based on my reaction? Let's see. Let's see. Would I be any good at poker? I think not. But anyway, guys. Okay, so next I got a cream blush product. So this is by the AGOMC brand. Like, I have no idea. It's a Igo. Igo MC. I don't know. But this really reminded me of a glossier kind of product. It's just got that kind of similar, uh, very minimalistic, uh, kind of stylish, um, you know aesthetic to it so it comes in this tube and it looks kind of like an oil paint oh my gosh so addicted to painting that i have to compare this to an oil paint yeah this looks really interesting it's in the shade beam it had really really good reviews i, th I think that i was kind of inspired to buy this off the back of trying out those O2O uh, lip and cheek tints because i really really liked one of the cream blushes in that pack and I think it just kind of got me into the whole like, ooh, could I become like a cream blush convert maybe? So let's squeeze a little bit out because I'm really intrigued to see what this looks like. So this is a beautiful pink shade. Oh my gosh, look at her glow. I say glow, I don't mean glow, I meant go. I mean really guys. So this looks really pretty. It's kind of like a corally shade and I just think that cream blushes look super natural on the skin as opposed to like powder blushes. Sometimes um, I find, I don't know, blushes can be a bit difficult. Uh, they can be tough to kind of blend and if you apply too much it just looks like a shit show. Uh, whereas cream blushes I think they just look super super natural and pretty. So um, yeah this looks really really good and I'm looking forward to uh, trying her out soon all over my cheeks and maybe vagina too. Probably not vagina actually. I had my smear test the other day. Oh gosh guys like literally it was awful, like it was awful, like the bit where, you know, you lie on the bed and she says, oh, put your knees together and then you have to like flop open your legs and you just feel so exposed, so vulnerable and I forgot to do my bikini wax, although do you want to have like, do you want to be bare down there or do you want to be hairy, like what's worse? Like, I don't know, I kind of feel like if you had a little bit of like a bush overgrowth down there, it would 
protect your modesty a little bit. Whereas if you're like fully like raw and exposed, like she, I just feel like, oh, she can see everything, you know. But um, she insisted on looking me in the eye and asking me how sad in you was as she was doing it. Like she had her fingers on my vagina asking me about Sardinia and you know what was the food like and I'm like oh my gosh Sandra this is not the time to be making eye contact with me when your hand is on my vagina like Sandra seriously you're making me feel very awkward right now and I feel awkward all the time and this is just taking me to a whole other level of awkward okay so next we have a lip care serum i have no idea like when i actually bought this this has the most unpleasant like unappealing description of any product i think that i've ever bought so it just says function a concentrate of black bean sprouts black bean sprouts like what next tadpole poo i mean what we're we gonna start formulating products with next it just says blah 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 and blah 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 and blah 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 promote collagen synthesis increase lip elasticity activate cell regeneration reduce fine lines resist aging repair the lips and make them fuller so we have a whole load of claims going on here which i am a little bit cynical about because this cost me like no more than three pounds. Call me negative Nancy, but I believe that if it did actually, um, you know, do all of these things that it's claiming, it would cost a lot more money. Um, because think of all the technology that's gone into that, you know. Oh, my stomach's rumbling, guys. And it wasn't even a rumble, it was like a, a squeak. Anyway, I got it, so I, I bought it. So I was actually, you know, I was sold on it at the time. It's called Lambina. I thought it was called Labia because I was just talking about my, my vagina and I thought it said Labia. And I was like, oh yes, Labia, that's it. Anyway, guys, I'll try it. You know me, always up to try things. Always, always, apart from um, many things. Like, I don't like many things. Okay, so the final item that I have to show you today is a tattoo and this is not a real tattoo, it's a transfer, is that what they call it, transfer tattoo? But this is meant to be like a hand and wrist tattoo, so you're meant to kind of, um, you're meant to like apply it like, like this kind of thing. It, it just seems like this is open for, for disaster, honestly. Like, I feel like so many things could go wrong and whenever I've tried, you know, just like a transfer tattoo, back when I was like 15 and um, they were always like much smaller so it was much easier in a way uh, whereas this is quite large and I just feel like so many things could go wrong but I'm going to do it anyway because I give no shits so I'm going to put it over on this side and if I love it you never know I may tattoo my other hand because I love nothing more than getting my hand tattooed and I say that like if anyone's ever had their hand tattooed it's fucking painful it's Fecking painful, but um, we'll see anyway. We'll see how this goes. You never know, it might look so good. I might just buy a hundred of them and just keep putting them on. I don't know. I don't think I'll do that. I could, I'll just get a tattoo and deal with the pain, like really. Okay, so guys, that brings us to the end of this video. I really, really hope you've enjoyed it. I do apologize if over the next week or so, or I don't know, I just feel like, well, at the moment, my computer is like covered in an old duvet so like i'm painting i'm you know i mentioned it i'm obsessed with painting right now and because i'm trying to like move things from one room to another i don't know i feel like i'm not gonna be able to do as many videos which makes me really really sad but we've got a shitload of things going on all of these things like i've I've put upon myself but I, I just feel like if I knew that I wasn't pregnant I would think I was pregnant I would think that this feels like what you know when when people are heavily pregnant and they start nesting like I never had that with either of my pregnancies but I feel like this is what nesting like not just nesting extreme nesting is because I'm extreme I'm just on one I just can't stop I'm just like oh my gosh painting this painting that painting everywhere I just see something, I'm like, oh my gosh, I need to do some DIY with that. I was in B&Q the other day, just having the time of my life. Like, I was in B&Q having, uh, like, the best of times, like I would have at Boots looking at makeup. That's how far my obsession has come. So, I mean, honey, better watch out, or I'll just start doing DIY on, on his cock next. But anyway, guys, I'm going to go. 
thank you so much for watching my video i hope you're having the most fabulous of fabulous days today and i will see you in the next video bye